Yes, I'm going to ask the deacons to come with the emblems. As we want to partake of the Lord's Supper this morning. Communion. And as they're coming with those emblems, I just want to remind us a few things about communion. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 11, 24, Jesus says, do this, that is, have the Lord's Supper in remembrance of me. In verse 26, it says, for as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So communion or the Lord's Supper is a remembrance and celebration of the sacrifice that Jesus made for our sins. It's an activity that we are to do in unity as it represents the oneness of the body of Christ. It's a symbol of our life in, in Christ. Jesus said in John 6, 53, he said, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. When he spoke about flesh and blood, he wasn't talking about literal flesh and blood, but he was talking about the bread and the wine representing the life that his broken body on the cross would bring for us representing the redemption that his shed blood would bring to cleanse us so who can partake in the lord's supper any person who has accepted jesus christ as their lord and savior can partake whether you are a member here or not once you are a believer in jesus christ you are welcome to partake with us. But if you are not a believer, I will ask you to abstain from communion at this time. Because the Bible says that we must eat and drink with discernment. The Bible says to us in Luke twenty-two fourteen to 20, it says... And when the hour came, he reclined at table and the apostles with him. And he, that's Jesus, said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took a cup. And when he had given thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave to them saying, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise the cup after they had eaten, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is in the new covenant in my blood Amen Now sometimes we are fearful of taking communion because it's a serious thing and because of what the Bible speaks about it. But the Apostle Paul tells us something very clearly. In 1 Corinthians eleven twenty eight, He says, Let a person examine himself. Then and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. What the word is saying is that once we examine ourselves before. Meaning reflecting on our life and talking to God and asking God to cleanse us if there's anything that needs cleansing once we examine ourselves as believers and come to God we are free to partake 
of the Lord's Supper. So let us stand together as we examine ourselves this morning in the presence of each other and the Lord. Because we want to freely partake from the Lord's table. Because there is life, there is strength, there is healing, there is deliverance. When we remember the Lord's sacrifice and we honor him in it. Let's just bow our heads together as we, as a church, just begin to examine ourselves. And as I pray and as you pray individually, I really want you to ask God, Lord Jesus, we come before you, God, as, as your children, as your sons and your daughters, God. God, we recognize, Lord, that we may not always have done right, mighty God. So we confess that to you, Lord, right now, God. And we ask you to search us, Lord, even as David did, to see if there be any wicked way in us, God. And if there is any wicked in us, wickedness in us, Lord, we ask you to cleanse us, mighty God. Lord, your word says that if we confess our sins to you, God, that you are faithful and just to forgive us, Lord. And the blood of Jesus Christ will cleanse us from all unrighteousness, mighty God. So, Lord, we confess to you, mighty God. And we thank you this morning, Lord, that your blood is able to cleanse us, that your blood is able to wash us, mighty God. To present us clean before you, God, as we seek to eat at your table, to eat of the bread, and to drink of the cup, mighty God. So, Jesus, we just thank you for your cleansing work in us now, Lord. In your precious name we pray. Amen and amen. If you will be partaking with us this morning... Just a few instructions. So we have deaconesses before you, both with the bread and with the wine. We don't have grape juice this morning. We have actual wine because Jesus used wine. Amen. So there are little cups. So as you come, you can take a cup and a deaconess will serve you. A piece of bread, they'll lift it up on a fork and serve it to you, right? Please maintain, please wear your mask as you come, as we maintain all protocols here. We've asked the deaconesses to serve you. Normally you take it with your hand, but we want to maintain all protocol. So a deaconess will serve you. So if you're going to be partaking with us today... Please come forward and take one cup of wine and let a deaconess serve you with the bread. When you are ready and you put on your mask, etc., you may come forward and take your emblem and return to your seat. Do not eat or drink until you have received further instruction as we are going to do this together.
deaconesses, please take yours as well and allow the musicians to take if they desire to partake. Hallelujah. Does everyone that's, that desires to partake with us have a piece of bread and a cup of wine? If you desire to partake in the communion and you do not yet have a piece of bread or a cup of wine, just wave quickly. So if you're partaking with us this morning, just stand with the emblems of the bread and the wine. You guys you know yeah man you can you got come and take you you're gonna partake come and take come and take come rest down the instruments a little bit come and take everybody I had asked them to serve you but come and take a cup of wine and a piece of bread finished Deaconesses, please just pour two cups, two more cups for me, please, quickly. Forgive me, church, but we want everybody to partake with us. And we won't leave out our music ministers at all. We just thank you, Lord. We just thank you, mighty God, that we can do this together, Lord. That we have this privilege, mighty God. Amen. As our... Musicians receive their emblems. Everyone, let's just stand together. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 11.23, the Apostle Paul says, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread and giving thanks he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Deaconesses, are you ready? Let us bless the bread together. Father, we just thank you, mighty God, for this bread. We thank you, Lord.
for this symbol, Lord, of your broken body, God. Lord, you said in your word that I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Lord, I thank you, mighty God, that as we eat this bread, Lord, Lord, the life that you wrought for us through your broken body, Jesus, I thank you, God, that every benefit, Lord, Lord, that your body yielded to us, God, when it was broken on that cross, mighty God, we receive it, mighty God as we eat this bread Lord your word says God that your body was wounded for our transgressions that you were bruised for our iniquities mighty God and that by the very stripes you received in your flesh God that we can receive healing today God Father I thank you that as we eat this bread this morning God that the bread of life would begin to move on the inside of our very mortal bodies God and begin to bring life uh, health uh, and healing in the mighty name of Jesus by faith church let us eat the bread together The Bible tells us in Matthew 26, 27 to 28, it says, And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood, for this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. We want to bless this wine. Jesus, we thank you, mighty God, for this wine, Lord that is red God which symbolizes your blood Jesus that was shed for us God your blood mighty God that was shed to usher in a new covenant Lord that we might be grafted into the house of God no longer strangers no longer aliens no longer outcast God but members of the family of God chosen by you Lord from the very foundation of the world Jesus we thank you for your shed blood this morning God and I thank you Jesus that as we drink this wine God that you will touch it Lord and let it be as your shed blood Lord your shed blood God that brings healing that brings reconciliation that brings redemption God your shed blood that is able to deliver us God out of the very hand of the enemy Lord we thank you for your shed blood this morning God let us remember the shed blood of Jesus as we drink this wine together Jesus as you finish the deacons will come quickly and just collect your cups as you've given them back your cup just begin to lift your hands to the Lord right where you are 